Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to take a little more time with the elements on the side panel. And we're going to go a little more in depth into what they do as each one of these things will affect what you are doing inside of your video. One of the first things we're going to do is we're just going to clean up our desktop a little bit. So we're going to move, remove one of these tracks just so that we'll have the two tracks that we're working on. Now, when you click the media panel, what you're going to notice is that you'll see the media panel go away. If we click it again, the media panel will appear. And what's in the media panel is any recording or any media that we're actually working with. So, for example, at the very beginning of this course, we recorded a video and it automatically populated it into the media bin. And that always happens when you do a recording in Camtasia. If we wanted to add to this, we would import a media file into the bin. So, for example, let's import a media file. And we can do that by going to this plus, or we can go to the file, and we can go to import, and import a particular media. So, in this particular case, let's just import some media that we might have elsewhere. So, we'll click the plus button, and then we'll choose whether or not we import the media or import something from Google Drive. So we will choose something from our hard drive, we'll click open, and then that media will appear in our bin. If we want to pick something that we have recorded previously, we can go to the file area, we can go to import, and we can actually import other recordings that we have done. Now with the media bin, this does not actually do anything to the actual recording until you put it on the timeline. So, when you decide on where you want it to appear in your video, all you would do is you would right click this and then add to the timeline at the playhead. And what you're going to notice is that it will appear on a third track. And what that means is that you're going to hear this audio play right on top of all of the other audio. If you wanted to not hear some of the other audio, if you recall, all you'd have to do is highlight that track and delete it. We'll bring it back. And if we were to delete this track, it would no longer be on the timeline, but it would still be in our media bin. So the media bin allows us to work with recordings and allows us to work with everything that we're going to be using in our editing process. Now, the last thing that we'll want to do is something that we haven't done previously in this course. We're going to actually save our project file. And this will preserve the work that we have done so far. And you want to save often because when you are actually doing editing, what you don't want to do is have to go back and redo editing over and over again. So one of the ways in which you control that is you would actually save your project file. So in order to do that, you would go to the file area and you would click save as the first time. So we're going to save this as a name that we'll remember. Now you want to take note of how this project file is named. It's actually going to be named something different than if you have used previous versions of Camtasia. It will not look like something that you have used before. And this is proof that if you want to use previous versions of Camtasia, the two are not compatible unless, unless you convert the file forward to version 9. You can't convert, you actually cannot convert this version back to a previous version. So in this particular case, we're going to call this course file 1, and we're going to click save. And when you completed this, Camtasia will actually let you know that your project has been saved on your hard drive. Now, they will give you the option of not showing you this message again. It's suggested that you allow this message to be seen because this will assure you that your project has actually been saved. If you don't get this message, you'll know that the saving process has not been completed and that you might want to try it again. So in this particular case, we've seen our Camtasia project file has been saved. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click OK. OK, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.